Now the channel, we got the Amazon exclusive Ronin the Accuser Marvel Legends Deluxe figure. The Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another Marvel Legends unboxing and review and today on the channel we've got the Marvel Legends Deluxe Edition Ronin the Accuser Amazon exclusive but for all your Marvel Legends needs that are not Amazon exclusives make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items and of course anything over $59 does ship free got to get a deal and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there so without further ado let's see old ronan the accuser and of course there was an old toy biz version back in the day i did not have that one i do have the movie edition that we will compare it to later on so i'm very happy to get a comic version into my collection here very cool packaging as far as non-plastic free packaging or plastic free packaging goes i should say uh, but yeah, i do love the guardians logo there of course we have star lord coming from walmart yondu coming from uh, target as exclusives so we're building out some of that comic universe as well so that's not a bad thing as we do get a a lot of movie edition Guardians of the Galaxy figures but Ronin in his classic green attire here Marvel Legends uh, looking good there on the side a little glamour shot and a little comic artwork on this side here and then the back of the package of course no cross sell no blurb no nothing what are we doing UPC's warnings all that kind of stuff down there but not a lot of bells and whistles with this one on the back of the package here but it does say Ronin the Accuser and that's basically it. And like I said, this was an Amazon, is an Amazon exclusive. So if you're looking for this, you got to head to Amazon to get it. Put a little Spider-Man style. Bam! See you later. Goodbye. Pull that out. A little cardboard. Nothing else in there. See you later. Goodbye. Big deluxe figure. Kind of. Sort of. See you later. Goodbye. And what do we get here? We get this big hammer. Going to pull it out. There it is. Looking good. Bam! See you later. Parchment paper. Then we get old Ronan out of the package. Parchment paper once again. Bam! See you later. Goodbye. And not a lot of extra bells and whistles here. Deluxe price point. No extra hands. No uh, effect pieces. No bells and whistles. Just the hammer. And gotta say, this hammer is extremely light. Very light. Very hollow hammer. Uh, big hammer, but very light uh, for sure. Nice silver color throughout. You get the big block at the top with the blue piping around there. You do get a little spike action on the handle. But besides that, kind of is what it is. Just the hammer. There it is. It's Ronin's hammer, that is. Looking good, though, for what it is. There you go. I think that's a fair assessment. I don't know. But not a lot of meat to that one. Then we get Ronin out of the package. Looking like a deluxe figure here. Looking like a lot of use from reuse from Colossus, actually. Uh, especially those arms. This speaks to Colossus. And we've had a lot of Colossuses over the years. But definitely looks like that. But a big, big figure here. Unfortunately, no pinless joints on this one. So getting the most out of your molds. Getting some reuse here. Now, this is a deluxe one. Could this have been a Build-A-Figure? Maybe, maybe could have been one, but they sold it separately here. But an interesting one, Ronan the Accuser. I guess let's walk through the articulation quick really fast. Arms go all the way around, and that shoulder gauntlet pops right off. So it is, uh, you can put it in there. It does just uh, kind of clip right in with the little pegs. But if you try to move those arms all the way around, you're going to knock that off. But I'm glad they're removable, so you can kind of move it a little bit. Because if those were steady, not movable at all, you'd have basically zero articulation here. But you do get a little give when you move the arms, but they will pop out if you go all the way around. You do get the bicep cut. Oh, very tight elbow joints. Single jointed elbows, very tight, but they are there. Hands back and forth, side to side. Only two gripping hands. No fist, no open hand, nothing like that with him. Uh, we do get the big ab crunch in the middle. Very tight ab crunch like that. You can even hear it. You can hear that right there. You can do those big Ronin Excuser splits. Not the biggest splits in the world, but he is a big dude. He's no gymnast. You do get a thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Very tight knees. You do get a boot cut. And then you get ankles back, forth, side to side. Very big ankles here. And green is the uh, name of the game with this guy. He is a big green character. A lot of different shades of green throughout. Of course, big Oakland A's fan, Ronin the Accuser. We all know that. No need to talk any more about that one. But he is a big A's fan, as we know. These shoulder guards do pop out, though. So I will say that's a little bit 
bit uh, annoying or could get a little bit annoying if you're not careful. He does got a skirt going on. He's got a belt around the middle. But besides that, he kind of is what he is. He's just a, an imposing figure that's just kind of stand there. He's just going to stand there and hang out, I guess. But he does got the big head going here. He's got the big kind of cover. Like a young Zartan is what he kind of reminds me of with this big hood over his head. And then you got even the Zartan like different colors on each eyes, and you got the blue skin throughout. He's got a mean mug and face. He's not a happy camper, that is for sure. Uh, but he is a big imposing dude. Looks pretty cool. It's just kind of one of those characters that's just kind of there. He's going to stand there with his hammer and just uh, be all sorts of angry is what he's going to be. And then, like I said, we do have the MCU version here. Uh, very much uh, smaller than the comic version, but it's two different takes on the character here. I definitely prefer the bigger one. You guys know I'm a sucker for a big, giant figure, and that's what we got with Ronan. Looking pretty good right here. But, yeah, not a lot of bells and whistles as far as deluxe figures this is one of those ones like i said it's an amazon exclusive a little patience goes a long way uh, i always have kind of credit card reward points at amazon because my wife spends so much money on amazon and we get free money so i actually felt like i i mean i got this free but i didn't really because she spent a bunch of money to get those points but i did use my points to get this so that felt kind of nice, but uh, I've seen and we've all seen Amazon exclusives, things like this. You wait a couple of months down the line, they're going to go to pretty deep clearance. Who knows? Around the holiday time, this might be a $22 figure on clearance. We'll see what happens. But does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10%. And what do you know, he fits like a glove. Make sure you get the Mattel ringside stands, but he fits perfectly on there. If you need a little extra support for him, he can do that. Uh, a good figure, I wouldn't say a great figure, no life changer right here. I don't know if anybody that Guardians of the Galaxy, Ronan the Accuser is my favorite comic book character of all time. Maybe there's somebody out there, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, but he's just kind of a big imposing force. And for people like myself that missed out on the old school version of this, it's another chance at this. And as we always say, Mattel, Hasbro, NECA, whoever it may be, whoever you want to throw in there, if there's money to be made and somebody missed out on something old, they see something old selling for a lot of money, pretty much nine times out of ten, they're eventually going to re-release that because those companies, they're not nonprofits. They want your money. And that's what we're seeing here with Ronin. We've seen it with Blob recently. We've seen it with Strife. We're seeing a lot more of that stuff. Makes longtime collectors a little bit angry, but for people that missed out on the first one, makes them pretty happy. They don't have to pay that premium price. So I get all aspects of that. I get all both sides of the coin on that one as well. But this Ronin, happy to have it, just not a life changer figure. Not sure it's going to be a top 10 figure of the year for me at the end of the day. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? What are your thoughts on Ronin the Accuser? Picking it up? Passing? Headed to Amazon right now? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video. Always helps the channel grow. Give it the old Hacksaw Jim Duggan thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. So you guys know we got videos every single day, including everything and anything Marvel Legends. Check out the Patreon, your best way to support the channel for early access to videos like this, bonus content, Q&As, giveaways, you name it. A lot going on over at Patreon and truly your best way to support the channel and all the content. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 is where you're going to find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Ronan the Accuser and Movie Edition, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.